What's up gamers, I'm John, and this is my Level Up News, where I bring you news every weekday. It's the type of news I gather from around the web so you don't have to. Today's Wednesday, February 7th, 2024, and let's get you leveled up with today's news. Yesterday, the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth State of Play, we got to do a serious deep dive into the game. They showed a lot of gameplay, including how the map looks. They showed off graphics and performance modes. They showed off how synergy works in the game and how making decisions with certain characters unlocks new moves for battles. They showed off all the new mini games, the Golden Saucer. They also showed off some story moments that we haven't gotten in past trailers. And to top it all off, they have released a demo of the game and will update it to open up another area of the game before the actual release on February 29th. Did you pre-order your game yet or are you going to wait for it to come to PC? Let me know in the comments below. 2022's biggest game and game of the year may be heading to your phone. Reports are coming in stating that Elden Ring is coming to your phone for download. The thing is that it's not the Elden Ring you think. It's a free to play title which includes in-app purchases. We'll just have to wait and see what the developers have lined up for us in the future. With all the weekend buzz of Xbox going multi-console, from a slew of reports all over the web, we are bound to see news directly from Microsoft themselves. T3 is saying that the future of Xbox will be announced next week. We don't know what we're getting. If Xbox is going to call it quits on console wars and become more software than hardware, is it going to double down on being a hardware more than software? It's the wild wild west at the moment when it comes to Xbox in the future, and I will have more coverage as more news comes out. For all those Mortal Kombat 1 players that have been waiting for the next character to be available to play, they won't have to wait long. The next season starts February 28th, and it comes with DC's Peacemaker, played by John Cena. The new season comes with new items, missions, and cosmetics for all the characters. Let's see if this will boost numbers for the game because they have been a downslope when it comes to concurrent players on a daily basis. The sequel to Project CD Red Cyberpunk 2077 has entered full development. They have added Fable's old narrative lead to bring more stories to an already incredible complex and awesome world. They are going under the name Project Orion for now and expect the world to expand even more than last year's Phantom Liberty did. This year's second biggest theme hit, and Shrouded, got its first big patch update today. With the update covers many fixes including stability and performances alongside with some tweaks for crafting and the skills tree. There was also a hack where you could bunny hop around the map without wasting any stamina. That is now cut out. Another hack was floating around the whole map while on your bed. The developers jabbed a little joke saying dreams shouldn't be that powerful. A list of all the changes are on their blog and their discord. The Gaming Bible has a great story on how PlayStation gamers aren't using a feature that could be bringing back money into their pockets. Back in 2022, PlayStation Stars was launched and it featured little tasks to do and that would gather you points. With enough points, you could exchange it for PlayStation Store credit which in turn you could use towards your next purchase. Tell me, do you use PlayStation Stars or are you just finding out about this? Comment down below with your answer. And the lineup for this year's Evo event has been announced. The event will be taking place from July 19th to the 21st at the Las Vegas Convention Center West Hall. The games that were announced were Street Fighter 6, Tekken 8, Mortal Kombat 1, Guilty Gear Strive, King of Fighters 15, Grand Blue Fantasy vs. Rising, Undernight in Birth 2, and Street Fighter 3, Third Strike. The event should be one of the best with all the new games that have been announced. Comment down below if you're hyped about the lineup. Now with that bundle of gaming news, I hope you got enough experience points to level up on your gaming knowledge today. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you don't miss any new videos coming out.